Hey everybody, Dino Croc here, and welcome to a mod review. Now today we are reviewing ba, 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 the Jurassic Craft mod for 1.10.2. I've not really fiddled with this mod much myself, at least not at this version. And I know there's a lot of things that have changed in it that... Ooh, dragon head. I'm staying like this forever. Anyway, <laughs> a lot of things have changed. So let me just go over them real quick. First of all, we get the paddock signs for just a certain number of dinosaurs in this. By the way, they turn out in dinosaurs a lot. I think there's like one, two, three, four, six, seven dinosaurs now. They plan on adding more. It's just taking a while with all the models, as you can see that I don't have Optifine. They got murals in here, but they are very low resolution. I do not really care for them. Maybe if they up the graphics on them. Oh jeez. Didn't mean to break that. Over here we got the fossils. Now you put these. I'll take the T-Rex and uh, fossil grinder. You usually put them in the cleaning station which just takes water and in the case fossil. And we have plaster here. Which is made by wool, gypsum powder, and paper. And I don't know how to get gypsum powder, so you're on your own for that. Oh, yeah, see, it's not 100% either, so it gives us flint sometimes. Let's grab a stack of Rex skulls and just throw it in there. But there's a process to it. Oh, yeah, by the way, these are little, like, doll things that you can make in place. Just to show you what they look like. Look at the detail on that Rex, man. It's beautiful. And the raptor. Oh, it's all just great. Okay. Sorry about yawning, guys. I'm tired. This is what you want right here. Tyrannosaurus soft tissue. That should be in here. Ah, storage disk. Now you put that in there and that right there. It'll eventually make a storage disk with Rex DNA. Then you put that in here with a little... With this thing and then the DNA nucleus. And it would make this. The T-Rex DNA. And then you want empty syringes and some petri dish. Bam and bam. And that would make you. I'll wait for it to make. And then you put. You need to put eggs in there, by the way, guys. Eggs are key to this. And then bam. Transfer a syringe. 100% quality. The Rex in there. I'm just quickly going through the whole process right here, guys. Just to let you know. And bam, Tyrannosaurus egg. What is this? That's the extractor. That's for amber. Let's combine them. And here's a hybridizer. I imagine that's going to be in Planetum Winners and Dominus. This is a feeder. You fill this with food, and it will. Feed your dinosaurs, basically. No. Ah, here we go. You're gonna want this. It's called peat moss, and you make it with moss, and you just find it on the ground. I think you pick it up with shears. You put it in here. And you place the egg in there, and this will eventually incubate it. I'm gonna set it to male. All the way to the right is male, all the way to the left is female, and if you put it in the middle, it'll just give you a random chance of either. And these, however, are the random blocks. I'm going to get a cane because I love the cane. We also got amber keychain and a Mr. DNA keychain. Tadali amber cane. Ugh. Again, sorry about that. This is reinforced bricks. And to craft this, you will need stone bricks and iron, or you need four reinforced, reinforced stone, which to make that, you'll need stone, granite, polished granite, dorite, so basically just all the stones in general. You need eight of them, starting an iron ingot, and gypsum is pretty self-explanatory because I imagine you've all seen Jurassic Craft before 
You just need gypsum, which is basically the same as cobble. You find this down in the world, you break it, it turns into cobblestone, and you just smelt it. Now this is clear glass. Now to make this, you're going to need eight glass, starting an iron ingot. I don't know how that makes it clear, but that's the way the game rolls. And this is amber. And if you mine it, it'll drop you this. Mosquito and an amber, or am amphith. Amph amphid in an amber, I guess. I don't know what the hell that is. And then you just put it in here. And you need some of these discs. And eventually, after a while, it'll give you a random DNA chance. I wonder if my eggs don't keep baiting yet. No, it's close. Let's use some of the other stuff. Then there's pieces to the car. Because there is a Jurassic Park. Jeep! <sighs> Sorry about that. Yes, a Jurassic Park Jeep. You can make that and drive it. Let's drive, guys. Oh, God. So glitchy. Oh, God. Yeah, as you can see, it's a, uh... Yeah, as you can see, it's a work in progress. Uh, I suppose we could take a look at the plants. At least some of them. Here's a scaly fern tree. By the way, these are all the plants and stuff you can get. And it's basically the same process to make a plant, by the way. Uh... And this is just meat that you get from killing the dinosaurs, along with chili and sea bass. To make that, you need uh, Andrew Leg. I cannot say that. If you can pronounce that, congratulations, you're a smart person. Smithy leaves, and you need wild onion, cooked fish, carrots, and then you can make chili and sea bass from the movie. Let's go check on the freaking egg. Ah, you're so slow. Uh, what else is there to really show? There's not much. Oh, look at this hot yawning! There's not really much else to show. Um, I suppose I could just spawn a Rex. I was just gonna hatch the egg, but I suppose I could just spawn one. Should be over here. Just take a look at the dinosaurs, actually. First, we'll start with. Oh my. Sorry about the slowness of my mouse, guys. It's like. I don't understand. Ceratops, Velociraptor, and Tyrannosaurus. Times a day, and by the way, when they're flicking like this, that means you have a random chance at spawning either gender. You can right click, male, and then female, and then back to random. Just keep them on random. <laughs> so there's a Gallimimus. That's what they look like. And they actually have the. And uh, let me get my engine field guide here, because they actually have stuff that you need to. Do to take care of them. For instance, they need food. They a they do need water, and that's pretty much it. So you actually have to place a water source in here for them to stay alive. And then it has info on the dinosaur, which is pretty cool. And it apparently after a while, holy crap! I'm actually gonna fucking pour water on my foot on my face in a minute. It tells you he's a rivers durnile, which means he's awake during the day. Tells you his uh, gender and age. It actually tells you if it's rideable. Uh, Brachiosaurus is pretty big, so I'm gonna actually spawn it out here. Should have made this a little bigger. There's Brachiosaur. Look at that thing, that's huge. And it has the sound straight from the movie. It's, it's a dinosaur. I made a reference to my cool. 
Alright, so we got the Lapasaur. I'm gonna spawn this in the cage. There you go, Mamas. And that's the Lapasaur. For some reason, hiding in the tree. And a tree. Need a sword. Hey, buddy. I'm talking to you. Oh yeah, this is also a cool thing, by the way. If you kill them, they'll actually just lay on the ground until you, like, <laughs> stab them once more. Or a couple of times and take all their meat. Try to smoke the officer. Ah. Well, he's sleeping, so whatever. Anyway, that's what the Dilophosaur looks like. Let's do the Parasaur. That is the Parasaur Lophus. And he, he's a good boy. You're a, you're a he, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, good boy. Aren't you? Yes, sir. Alright. Uh, we did Parasaur next for you. That's a male. Oh, they actually. The Parasaurs actually fight back. I think they just run away. Alright. Anyway, this is the Triceratops and the way it looks. It's pretty nice, isn't it? Yes, you are. You're nice. Alright, next up is. The one, the only, Velociraptor. Look at that model, guys. Look at that model. Ooh. It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, look at that jumping animation. Oh my god, it's just like the most gorgeous thing ever. I think the raptor made a mistake. Let's get a male in here. That's what the male looks like, by the way, for the raptors. Oh, that's the raptors all dying. It's like the killing pit. Feel bad for the parasaur. The poor raptor. Oh yeah, by the way, their eyes actually do close and whatnot. So let's spawn in something to make the, even the raptor scared. <laughs> Mr. Rex himself. Look at that T-Rex, guys. That T-Rex, by the way, for the like for the for the player, if you're not wearing armor, I'm pretty sure it's a one-hit kill. The T-Rex cannot be tamed, by the way. So if you spawn it, once it's fully grown, it will try to eat you. Look at that! Oh, that sounds straight from the movie, and it's beautiful. Spawn another Rex. Get the female. Come on. Oh, there goes the last raptor. This is not a Rex pen. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Anyway, let's. Craft mod, guys. Oh, I can just fly. That is a Jurassic Craft mod, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. And let's go see if the egg's done, because I'm pretty sure it should be done by now. Those Rex is in there with all their food. 
The herbivores are here to play. This egg should be a done deal. Yeah, it is. And now you can... It's called a hatched egg, and if I could just fly... Holy Jesus. Yeah, as you can see, it's called a hatched Tyrannosaurus egg. So if I do... If I just... I could just place him down. And some mail. There we go. We have the Rex family from Jurassic Park 2. The mama, the papa, and the little baby one that they took home. And then the dad came home with him and got mad. Alright, so that's most of the Jurassic Park mod. Till they update it. I know in their next update they're going to have Micro Raptor, which is going to be cool. I can't remember what else. They might have Coelacanth. But they need to add, like... They need to hurry up, I think, and add more. Like, this is amazing. This has all more dinosaurs in it. You could build, like, an actual park. You need Spinosaurus in here, also. And Stegosaurus. Definitely a Dominus. That's going to take a massive amount. But anyway, yep. I'm Dino Croc. Thank you for watching this mod review. And, uh... I thought that was a stat toy for a minute. <laughs> and... Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.